It's my favorite evening. I'm pacing around the floor. Got southern woods and waters gonna take me out the door. Got coffee on a perkin. I'm about to have some fun. They'll have my mind chasing some critter on the run. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Make me hear that sound of a fish that's breaking water or the bawling of some hounds. Make me smell that river mud, feel clean air on my face. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Show me that special place. Probably about 11 inch proper. Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. We appreciate you all tuning in tonight. Hope you're all sitting around safe and sound with your family enjoying the show. Got a, another great show for you tonight. We're going to be talking about doe management. Um, we, we've done lots of deer hunting shows this year. We've had a great season and you hear a lot of talk about the bucks and how they've grown through the state, you know, throughout the last several years and all that. And But you don't hear as much about doe management as you really should, to be honest. So tonight I've got West Stone in the studio with me and Anthony Landers down from West Tennessee. Good to have both of you here. Glad to be and, here. Uh, Glad to be we're here, just going to talk a little bit about the doe management side of things, guys. I mean, again, you, you hear about the bucks all the time and, and the pursuit of them, but, you know, there's some smart old does out there, too, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> they really are. Those old does are about as smart as the oldest yeah, buck yeah, is. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you. Sometimes you need to take care of them, you too. Do. Yeah. That's right. You get your old five and a half year old doe, and she ever figures out where you're sitting, you're in trouble. Yep. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> you know? every time she walks out, she's going to peg you. <laughs> yeah. She'll, she'll tell on you every single yep. time. Um, but, you know, uh, does, we seem to have, to me, just more and more and more. And we're going to get into some numbers here in a little while. Anthony's got some numbers for us tonight. Um, I see, I feel like I see more does than I ever have. So my original thoughts were that our doe harvest numbers were probably down. Uh, we'll look into the numbers here in a little bit and see how they actually are. But uh, it sounds like I might not be correct. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so we're going to look into some of that, just kind of how the numbers have trended. But we're also going to take you guys on a couple of great hunts tonight. So the first hunt we're going to go on, Anthony, you were hunting with your buddy Chris Deming. Yeah, and, and Chris uh, is Brad Deming's brother. Everybody knows Brad from the Brad oh, yeah, Deming yeah. Bicycle Fund. Chris is Brad's younger brother, about, about a year difference in okay. age. And y'all are down in the CWD zone. Right in the hunt. heart. Of, matter of fact, every buck killed in that area where we kill these does, it's been positive this year. Okay. Every one of them. Well, so, y'all are doing your part. Then they're doing numbers management and well, they're taking I mean, some it, of these does. It's so. a bunch. I'm going to tell you. It is. Yeah. Well, let's go on over to the first stunt for tonight and check it out with Chris Deming and Anthony over in West Tennessee. All right, everybody. This is our third morning. I think my buddy Chris Deming's going to whack a doe. This one looks seems to be a little too small. Waiting on one just a little bit bigger, or her great granddaddy, whichever comes out first. So y'all stay tuned. Perfect as you can get to. 
You hit it though, did I? Yeah, you hit it. I saw it. Christian. Yeah, no kidding. That's a good time. Yes. Good time. Big Hello, everybody. Anthony Landreth here, Southern Woods and Water. I'm with my buddy Chris Deming. Hey, everybody. And we're on Doe Patrol in Unit CWD. Chris smacked this big old girl a while ago. Got it on film. This is the second one, what, last four days, I think he busted, didn't it? Yeah. Busted one the other afternoon. Yep. We got that on film, too. Yep. And then also got my buddy Duck Madeer. He busted two the other morning, but. Did you know CWD, they, they want to try to get rid of some does and this area right where we are right now has probably got about 100 to 110 deer per square mile. Easy. So we're just trying to take some doe off the landscape and uh, hope y'all have had a good season because we've had a pretty good one. We'll see y'all later. All right, welcome back to the studio. That's a great hunt, man. It yeah, was. That's some good footage. Y'all saw a lot of it. bucks. That's how it works, you know, when you're out there yes, looking for dollars and every buck in the woods has got to come out and make an appearance. But. <laughs> well, these farms do have a lot of bucks, so Roger and Tess, he killed a, he killed a nice buck on this farm, yeah. too. They well, sure let's did. go on over and do this week's wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. You guys can stop in and see them at one of the 28 Middle Tennessee locations. Be sure to tell them thank you for everything that they do for us in our community, now serving them for over 30 years. All right, guys, for tonight's forecast, I've actually got a good friend of mine calling in. We've got Daniel Brown on the phone, and Daniel is from the Real Deal Guide Service. And Daniel spent a lot of time on the water uh, just in the last few weeks, and he knows what's going on. Daniel, how you doing tonight? Good. How y'all doing? Doing great, man. Appreciate you calling. Uh, what do you think the fish are going to be doing this weekend, man, with this cold front coming in and everything? Well, I think they're going to be eating, man. The water's right temp. We're in the you know 40s mid 40s uh the fish are really feeding i mean they're going to be stacked up in the channels if i was going this weekend which i'm going to probably be on the water i would troll uh a rigs between hong kong and bryant's grove bluff i said we've been catching lots of fish there and 30 to 35 to 40 foot uh we've been using chartreuse and Man, I, I've been using my thumper while I'm trolling, and that really seems to be the, the ticket, you yeah. know? Man, uh, that thumper's something else. I was <laughs> telling a guy about that thumper yesterday, and he couldn't understand what I was explaining to him, so I can't wait till you're on the show here in a few weeks we can tell people about that thumper and explain more what you're talking about. Yes, sir. It's just one of my few to, uh, many tools we've got to just absolutely you know, wear the fish out this time of year. Yeah, and trolling for hybrid with an A-Rig, I would never have thought of that, by the way. I told you that the other day, but that's really cool. I mean, these guys are nailing hybrid on an A-Rig right now, trolling awesome. them, Anthony. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're killing the rig. We're also catching them on spoons suspended, you know, using the live scope, too. So I've been doing, like, half a trip using the spoons, the other trip, rest of the trip doing trolling, and it's just, man, it's a one-two punch to these hybrids, and we love the boat, man, yeah. every day. Well, that's great information, guys. I mean, I, we really appreciate you calling in with that, Daniel, and letting everybody know what's going on with the fish. Tell everybody how they can get in touch with you if they want to get out with you next week on the water. Well, you know, they can always call me at 615-806-0814, or they can just go to my website at therealdealguideservice.com. All right. Well, man, we really appreciate you calling. We look forward to getting more information from you later, man. Have a great night. All right, man. You too. Thanks. Bye.
Now that's some good information right there, guys. Now is that what you did with the other day? <laughs> that's it. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. We want to remind you guys to follow us on Facebook as well. Keep up with us there, and we'll let you know how everything's going with our trips on the weekends or during the week when we get a chance, and y'all can let us know how yours are going. Also, check us out at SWWTV.com. You can find links to all of our past shows there and to all of our great sponsors. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here in just a minute with this week's Pictures of the Week and some more Southern Woods and Waters.